Sports, Episode 6. I'm Levi. I'm Thomas. And I'm Joe. Today, we will be starting with our discussion topic, which is... There are some teams in the NBA who are trying to lose on purpose because they want a better draft pick. Yeah, so the question is, do you think it's okay to try to lose to get better draft picks? Thomas, what's your thought? Um, yes, because it's like a strategy, because if you have like a bad team and like you you have no chance because really you know that you can't really do anything with your team. Might as well just try to lose so you can get a better team. Well, the thing about tanking is the players aren't trying to lose. It's about the team. They don't play their best players, and that's how you do it. Well, uh, well also I, because like like some people pay money to like go to those games, and they really want to see the good players play, but it's not entertaining. Yeah, it will well, be less entertaining. I think that if your team is doing bad, and I, I feel like that's just not fun for the for watching sports. Yeah. Like, I'm a I'm a I'm a fan of a team that has tanked, but I I just don't think it's very sportsmanlike just to n- lose on purpose. But if like they know they're not gonna make the playoffs and they have no chance, like even like. Well, maybe it's not right to do it in the beginning of the season when you have a chance, but, like, at one point, you can't make it. You're already eliminated. Like, then you should try to lose because then there's no – you can't make it until playoffs, so lose to get a better draft, right? Uh, well, I, mean, I think, like, I if it's, like, the thing. end of the year, like, the last five games. Or, like, once you're – Like, you're out completely of, out. Yeah, yeah then, then – Yeah. I think, I think that okay wouldn't then. make any sense because you should always – it's, I don't think five games can make a difference of your draft pick, and you should always try hard. That's, that's what they say to inspire people, and always like you always have to try hard, and that, that means when you're doing your best, you, you'll succeed in your own mind no matter so what. So they yeah. can try their best, they'll just put their worst players in. That, yeah. Well, well, yeah, I agree with that. Okay, moving on. March yeah. Madness is happening. And, by the way, there's an overtime game happening as we speak. Oklahoma against Rhode Island. Rhode Island. And these are our picks for the Final Four and champion. Eva? I have Cincinnati and Michigan, and Cincinnati plays Michigan, and Cincinnati wins. And then I have Butler and Duke, and Duke wins. And uh, Cincinnati plays Duke in the championship, and Cincinnati wins. That's a that's that's a long shot. Cincinnati actually, <laughs> I I can't <laughs> complain actually. They're coming off but, a big win of the. Uh, they won last weekend against Texas. A M. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The game was like came back to like uh, the last minute. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so what I think is there's gonna be Virginia, Michigan, Duke, and Purdue. Uh, that's like I know that's not a lot of number one seeds. Uh, number one seeds, this is a fact that no time except once has all four number one seeds made it. And that just gives you the stats that the, the, there's always underdogs that can make it. Um, and then I have Michigan winning the championship. Me, I have Virginia playing Xavier. Virginia wins and goes to the finals. And I have Villanova playing Duke. Duke wins, they go to the finals and... I'm a Duke fan for college, so I gotta go with my boys win the finals. We all have Duke in the finals. Yes. <laughs> they do. They think they're gonna lose, I mean. Clearly they're gonna win. Uh, well, now let's go on to our another discussion topic, which is, which is the best college basketball mascot? Funniest or best, doesn't matter. What I say is the TCU Horn Frogs. I mean, I think frogs are just really weird. And, oh, th- there it is right here. That's the TCU Horned Frogs mascot. Um, just look at it. He's, he's so funny. <laughs> um, uh, so it has, like, it's just really funny because I've never really thought of a frog. Like, frogs don't sound fierce to me. And that's why it's funny. Because I'm, I don't, it's, like, so uncommon that it's funny. Uh, for me, I have the Radford Highlanders, and I, I picked him because, like, look at him. He's, like, 
he, he's right up there. He's pointing like the same way like I am, and he has like a flag. He has like big bulky boots on. <laughs> he's in all flannel, and he's number. I think this means for number one. So that's why I chose no, the highlight. What's so funny about that? <coughs> it's just a like Scottish guy. Right? And you see yeah. his face. He's like a. Uh, it's just okay. kind of like his eyes and like his Whatever eyebrows and everything. Clearly. It's the shockers. I mean, he looks, he's right there. He looks, I mean, right there. He looks like a French fry, a walking French fry. Like, come on. Oh, I love A French fry with a face and hair. Like, come on. So what, you want to eat your mascot? No, but that's the point. He's funny. Yeah, okay. So that, come on. Like, hmm. I guess all of ours were funny, not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, they could be good. Funny just gets it good, but okay. Anyway, on to our fun facts. I think that the I, I'm saying that the odds of filling in a perfect bracket uh, are one in about a quillion. I think that's how you pronounce it. A uh, quillion. Yep, that's it. Um, mine is that Frank. Every, sorry if I pronounce that wrong. Oh, uh, Furman University is the only player to score 100 points at the Division One level in college basketball in one game. That's like good for a whole team. Yeah, that's point. good yeah. for one game in college. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 good. Yeah. My fun fact is the only seed to ever win was win the NCAA tournament was the, an eight seed. Villanova. Wow. <laughs> Eighth seed? That's um, like it's slow. That's this year Villanova is one seed, so let's see if they can pull it out this year. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I'd say they lose in the second round. That's what I have. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you so. You might be wrong right. there. That wraps up episode six. Thanks for watching. See you in episode seven. Oh, by the way, we're in a pool for the March Madness brackets. So the loser gets pie in the face from the winner. And um, the middle person is just lucky they didn't get pie in the face. By the way, it's going to be on this show, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.